Hi guys, Mrs. Ezzy back and we are on day two of our pop art balloon dog. So for our artwork this week, we are going to create a pop art background. Now we've already discussed and analyzed other pop artists and looked at their backgrounds and some things that can inspire us. Now last week you were responsible for trying to draw a balloon dog and some of us got a sketch down which was the only objective i just wanted you to get your balloon dog sketch some of us got to start coloring and maybe didn't get to finish but that's okay so this week we still have one more week to finish everything so what i want to do this week is show you how to draw different pop art background examples kind of like we saw in those comic books of how you could add things to the background now Remember, they used those bold lines in bright colors, or you saw a lot of black and white examples. So I'm probably gonna use my black marker, but I'm gonna sketch out first how I wanna divide my paper. So maybe I wanna make some different areas of background so I can add some, some lines behind my balloon dog inspired by Jeff Koons. And they're gonna go behind him. And then that'll give me different areas or sections to add either interest or designs or patterns, okay? So maybe I'll start with something very simple like the pop art that we saw that just had pattern. And I can make a really simple, almost like a rainbow shape. And when you repeat that, and then color it in nice and neat with level four craftsmanship, that will add a, an interesting part to your background. Maybe in another section, I wanna add more like that comic book style line, the pals, and I can make some zigzag pop art lines. Now remember, your background can express you, and this is that area for you to be creative because you're getting graded on your creativity. So this is where you can add your own unique flares. But remember to do it with purpose. Okay, another thing I really liked about pop art styles, I really liked the dots. So instead of drawing all the dots out with my pencil, this is one area that I would say just like, let's go with straight with the marker so that you can get those little dot details. And see, I'm repeating those very purposefully not just scribble scrabbling. So that is another one I might fill that whole area up. And maybe, I don't know, they said things that are popular or interesting to you. So maybe I wanna fill this area with a bunch of paintbrushes. I don't know, it's up to you. So draw a ton of paintbrushes and maybe I'll and paint splatters maybe. Who knows, but you're gonna fill up the areas with things that you like, but your background needs to fill the whole space. So I want the whole paper to be taken up with things that either interest you or inspired by those pop art comic book designs. Okay, so have fun with it. Start with your backgrounds, then finish coloring in your balloon dog, and we're gonna worry about craftsmanship and final details next week. All right, guys, enjoy.